What is up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to use the Z Modeler tool in ZBrush. Now, if you've ever used a 3D software before, chances are you've had to extrude or extract or bevel or bridge or box model something, and the Z Modeler tool can be used to do all of that. So when you open up ZBrush, get a sphere, and your Z Modeler brush is actually in your brush palette under Z. So if you zoom in on your mesh real close, hover over the middle and hold down space, you can choose from a huge range of different options here. So if I select delete and I select a single polygon, whichever polygon or face I click on, it's gonna delete. So say you have all these holes in your mesh. You can hold space, select bridge, click on the first edge, click on the second edge that you wanna bridge it to, and it connects the two. Say you want to bevel an object. If you turn on polyfill so you can see your lines, for your edges and vertices, hold space, select bevel, all polygons, or whatever you want. If you click and drag in the center of a polygon, as you drag out, it applies your bevel. So the thing to remember with Z Modeler is when you're hovering over the middle of a face and you hold spacebar, it brings up your polygon actions or just for a single face. If you hover over an edge and you hold down space, it brings up your edge actions. And if you are hovering over a single vertex or a single point and you hold space, it brings up your point actions. One of my favorite features of the Z Modeler brush is Extrude Poly Loop. It allows you to just pull out a poly loop in whichever direction. If you're zoomed in on a face, you notice that as you scroll around in circles, this little tick bar points in whichever direction your cursor is closest to. That's going to affect the direction that Z Modeler is going. So if it's pointing up, and I try to extrude this way, it's gonna pull the edge loop going in that direction. If you pull out a poly loop and you hold control and shift and click on that, it's already its own poly group, so you can hide everything else except for this in your scene. And of course, to bring back the rest of your stuff, just hold control, shift, and click anywhere outside of that. Hover over a single vertex or a point, hold space, and select move. You can just select that one vertex and move it around. Now, using the sample female demo head that you can find up here in the light box, I'm gonna show you how to make a helmet. Before we do anything, we're gonna select the main head, go to Subtool, and Duplicate. And for this, I'm gonna select the second head in our Subtool list here. First, you wanna mask off the area that you want. Hold Control and click outside of your objects, going to select the opposite. Select your Z Modeler brush, hold space over a face, select Extrude, All Polygons, and you're just gonna pull all of the polygons on the top of the head out. So now you can hold Control and Shift and click on just the bowl shape and it's gonna hide everything else. Deselect everything so everything is unmasked. Go to the Subtool, go down to Split, and select Split Hidden. Now you can go into your Subtool list and just delete this extra broken head here because we don't need this anymore. Extrude, poly loop. Drag out a couple of different poly loops here. Now with Z Modeler, we get this excess geometry down here when we extrude sometimes. If you hover over the center of any face, hold Alt and click on that face and it's going to change its color to gray. What it's doing is it's creating a poly group out of the faces that you're selecting. You can also just hold Alt and drag down over all of faces that you don't want because what we're going to do is delete these. Hover over the center of the face, hold space, select delete, and as soon as you click on that poly group, it's going to delete all of those faces. So you can go around your object, hold space, select delete, and just click on that poly group. Now you can clean up the edges of your mesh a lot quicker and get rid of all that excess geometry that we don't need. You can also use this function if you're holding alt to select however many polygons you want. Go to extrude and hit poly group all, and it will just select that poly group and extrude it down. Now, if I'm stuck here and I want to insert an edge loop here, hover over an edge, select insert. When I click on that edge in this direction, it cuts in an edge loop for me. So you get the idea. There's loads of different ways to mess around with all the tools inside of Z Modeler, but I encourage you to just play around with all the features because there's so many different combinations of things that you can use to create all different types of things. That's all I got time for today, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please leave me a like and a comment down below to let me know I'm doing a good job. Stay tuned to my channel for more interesting tips and tricks on ZBrush, and I'll see you guys next time.